Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. I am Rance Brack. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in this morning. And on this Thursday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans, today, gonna real quick go over both WWE Speed and AEW Dynamite from yesterday. And we are now six days away from AEW Dynamite Grand Slam next Wednesday live from Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. The last few years since AEW has been doing Grand Slam, that's one of those big shows that I have been looking forward to. And let's get right into it. This Thursday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. And yesterday, WWE Speed, the women's tournament continues. And yesterday, Kyrie Sane, representing Damage Control, defeated Electra Lopez, representing Delgado Del Fantasma with the insane elbow to advance. I believe there's only a few matches left of the first women's speed tournament. One more and then the semifinals match and then the finals to crown the first ever WWE speed women's champion which speaking of WWE speed the other day I saw that Andrade has now been the WWE speed champion for 1,000 days and he's only the second WWE Speed Champion there has been with Ricochet being the first and speaking of Ricochet he was in action last night on AEW Dynamite and that is the show I am about to talk about right now last night's AEW Dynamite And without any further ado, let's get right into it. Last night's Dynamite was live from the Mohegan Sun at Casey Piazza, or Plaza, sorry. And Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. And we started things off freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy taking on Chris Jericho. There's actually a pretty interesting fact about this match that I didn't realize yesterday is that this was the first time Orange Cassidy and Chris Jericho faced off with fans in attendance the last few they had which ended in the Mimosa Mayhem match was during the COVID time at Daly's place and just had some of the mid-card talent in the seats kind of posing as fans but this was the first Orange Cassidy versus Chris Jericho match in front of actual fans. And pretty good match to start off. Dynamite last night. OC getting the win. Chris Jericho 
trying to use a row of quarters after OC put all those coins in his car last week. But OC gets them soup or orange punch for the win. Orange Cassidy defeating Chris Jericho. 19 minutes, 30 seconds. Not sure if this is the end of the feud or if it will be continuing. Hook defeats JD Inc. in one minute. Women's tag team action. Queen Amanada and Yuki Sakazaki defeat the AEW Women's World Champion, the Glamour Mariah May and Serena Deeb via disqualification. Seven minutes, 57 seconds. And in a really good match, I thought Ricochet defeating the Beast Mortos 11 minutes 30 seconds for this match I would definitely say a match recommendation one that I think you should really check out in case you missed it last night I thought that these two were a really fun match together Ricochet having the speed advantage and of course Beast Mortos having the size advantage but I thought they both really worked well together in this one. Getting the win is Ricochet. And in the main event of this week's Dynamite Trio's action, the Don Callis family, Kanosuke Takeshita, Kyle Fletcher and Will Ospreay with Don Callis in their corner to defeat the elite, the AEW World Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, and the AEW Continental Champion, Kazuchika Okada. And I thought this was a really fun trios match. 21 minutes, 5 seconds. And they kind of talk about maybe Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher getting a shot at the AEW World Tag Team Championships after this victory. And last night, I forgot to mention, but we found out that Ricochet will be challenging the AEW International Champion Will Ospreay for that title. And the five year anniversary of Dynamite. That, I mean, I'm sure most people listening to this podcast right now know the history and the great matches that Will Ospreay and Ricochet have had in their careers and I'm sure this match first time meeting in AEW will be no different I am definitely looking forward to that one and that was last night's AEW Dynamite. Hopefully I didn't miss out on anything too big talking about. But next week is Grand Slam live from Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. Definitely looking forward to that. And that is also all for this Thursday episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for tuning in once again. Feel free to go to the comment section and leave your thoughts and your opinions on last night's AEW Dynamite. 
as we get ready for a grand slam next week, either right here on Spreaker YouTube or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast at. If the website or the app you listen to on has a comment section, you can go and leave your thoughts or just talk anything pro wrestling you want to, as long as it is pro wrestling. And just remember to be respectful and nice to other people. I will be back right here tomorrow morning for the Friday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. And I hope all of you can join me once again. But until then, have a great pro wrestling day.